Hey guys, Mr. Freena here to read aloud Tweens and Screams, The Truth About Too Much Screen Time uh, by Adrian Zembauer. So screen time is the amount of time a person spends looking at digital screens, including tablets, computers, smartphones, and TVs. Recent studies show that kids between the ages of 8 and 18 spend an average of 5 to 7 hours per day in front of a screen. I'm sure a lot of you guys can uh, relate to this, right? According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, the AAP, too much screen time can increase a child's chances of experiencing many negative issues, including sleep problems, obesity, cyberbullying, and poor school performance. 90% of Americans admit to using an electronic device to unwind before bedtime. I have a little graph here. It talks about the average daily screen time allowances by parents. So how much parents normally let their kids go on the computers. We have one hour or less, 15%. Two to four hours, 43%. Five to seven hours, 9%. Eight or more, 6%. And I don't know or I don't have an opinion, it's 26% of parents. It's just a little graph for you guys or an infograph. All right, the truth is screen time before or even in bed is very disruptive to your sleep. Digital screens can actually confuse the body's circadian rhythm or a natural clock. Digital screens emit a blue light, and this blue light reduces the amount of sleep hormone or melatonin the body releases, blocking your body's natural ability to relax and prepare for sleep. Instead, it keeps the body stimulated, making it more difficult to fall asleep. The more screen time kids have before bed, the more it can affect their natural sleep cycle. The body and the brain depend on this natural sleep cycle working properly in order for a person to be alert the next day. Over time, screen use before bed can lead to chronic sleep deficiency and even depression. As kids sit motionless on their devices after school, their bodies get little to no activity. Many kids spend less than an hour a day outside, if any at all. This lack of exercises increases the risk for weight gain and obesity. Kids who eat in front of a screen often eat mindlessly, right? I'm sure you guys have all veggied out, right? Like I'm sitting there eating Doritos and all of a sudden I eat a whole giant bag of Doritos while I'm watching a movie. I'm like, ooh, I ate more than I thought I would. They are likely to eat more than they should with little thought to what they are putting in their bodies. Too much snacking may lead to avoiding a meal that is more likely to be balanced with nutrients that a growing body needs. Another problem with screen time is the added risk of cyberbullying. Even if a child is not using a social media website, he or she may be playing video games like Fortnite that allows communication between players. They may also spend time texting or using other apps that support social activity. So I'm sure a lot of you guys, if anybody's played Fortnite or Call of Duty, you've had people name calling, right? I'm sure I'm, I can I guarantee that's going on in some of those chats. Cyberbullying is the sending or sharing negative or harmful information with the intent to cause shame or embarrassment. Social media allows bullies to work alone or with others against the target. Since the reaction of the target is not seen, this bullying can become overly aggressive, especially in video game circles. So I just wanted to show this little infograph right here. So it says screen time dominates kids play. U.S. children's average free time hours per week by activity type. So kids that are playing screen based play like video games, 18.6 hours per week. Indoor screen free play. 14.6. 14.6. Outside play, 10.6 hours. Doing things with a parent or adult screen free, 9.6 hours. Like it has food, like eating, right? Structured play, organized sports or activities, 5.3 hours per week. And homework, just a little tiny, 2.7 hours per week. This is for children aged 2 to 10, according to parents. Um, and it looks like. 1,271 people took this survey. So that's to give you guys some information there. Stopbullying.gov says that cyberbullying can be difficult for a few reasons. First, it can be persistent. Users can bully 24 hours a day. Social media and apps do not typically close or have off hours. Next, it can be permanent. Once something is put online, it stays there. And that's something we need to talk about often once something is put online it stays there so if you say something dumb today guess what it'll still be there tomorrow even if you tried deleting it even if it's on snapchat someone might have taken a picture so this is an important message i think that most of you guys um should know 
hopefully you guys don't have to learn the hard way. Um, the target of bullying cannot erase it and neither can the bully. Lastly, it can be hard to notice. Teachers and parents may not see the bullying or know that it is happening. In some instances, cyberbullying can even be against the law. The National Center of Education Stat Statistics and the Bureau of Justice st Statistics, ugh, that's hard to say, reported that 21% of kids aged 12 to 18 have experienced cyberbullying. The American Academy of Pediatrics advises kids to get no more than two hours of screen time per day. It is also suggested that families avoid using electronic devices at least 30 minutes before bed. A better option would be to read a book. I'm sure you guys have heard that several times, right? Especially from Ms. Cassara and I. Um, avoiding the harmful blue light associated with digital electronics can help you to be more alert and rested the next day. And here we have Bill Gates, principal founder of Microsoft Corporation. He says, we don't have cell phones at the table when we are having a meal. We didn't give our kids cell phones until they were 14 and they complained other kids got them earlier. This is the founder of Microsoft, right? The guy who made um, a lot of the computers that we're using, Windows. Um, I think all those Google computers that we're using, actually a lot of them use Microsoft stuff too. Um, and Xbox One and Xbox 360, all those Xboxes, they come from Microsoft. So this is Bill Gates right here. Um, and even he, you know, one of the founders of Microsoft, didn't give his cell phone or kids cell phones so they were 14. So there's just uh, food for thought there. All right. So that was our article that we're reading uh, this week. You might have to refer back to this later because I think we're going to talk about this for a while. So remember, guys, when you're taking the comprehension quiz, um, you can always go back and reread the article. You don't have to have to uh, guess on the ones you don't know for sure. All right. Uh, Mr. Frina, signing off. Have a good one, guys.